the White House, the administration is now responding to questions about counselor to the president, Kellyanne Conway, for a sales pitch of sorts that she made on Fox and Friends. Here is what she said this morning. They're using the most prominent woman in uh, in Donald Trump's, uh, you know, most prominent, right. he's, he's Kelly his daughter, and and they're using her, who's been a champion for women empowerment, sure. women in the workplace, uh, to get to him. Just, so I uh, think people can see through that. Thirty go seconds. Go buy Ivanka's stuff is what I would say. I'm going to. I'm going well, to. I hate shopping. I'm going to go get some on myself today. This is just. It's a wonderful line. I own some of it. I fully. I'm going to just give it. I'm going to give a free okay. commercial here. Go buy it today, everybody. You can <laughs> right. find it online. Not a surprise. That's today's installment of Conflict of Interest Watch. And CNN Money correspondent Christina Leshy joins me now. Christina, the White House didn't clear up a, a whole lot saying that she had been counseled. No, it didn't. And we probably shouldn't expect the White House to clear much up because the administration, as we've been reporting all along, Jake, doesn't seem to care about very blatant violation of ethical standards, norms, and in this case, the law. Here's Spicer's response at the press briefing just a few hours ago. Kellyanne has been counseled, um, and that's all we're going to go with. She's been counseled on, on, on that subject, and, um, and that's, that's it. Now, critics are already saying his response was tepid in the face of public outrage that uh, Trump still shows that, you know, it, it still shows that uh, the White House is taking Kellyanne's comments seriously, but perhaps they went too far. Look, even Congressman Chaffetz, who defended the president for attacking Nordstrom's just yesterday on our air, uh, he said uh, at the time that Trump was being a doting father and uh, said that Con uh, Conway's, and today he said Conway's comments were wrong. Look, people don't like the idea idea that the president and his aides are using the office of the president to defend and promote Ivanka's brand. They just don't like it. Phone lines at the Office of Government Ethics are flooded. Their website crashed today, and my legal and ethics sources can't believe what happened. But the blowback, at the end of the day, may not amount to much, because enforcement falls within the White House. And the most serious punishment for this kind of thing is dismissal. It's not a criminal offense, Jake. That said, I've been reporting on how little separation there is between the president and Trump ward. Now the question is, does that imply to the, apply to the wa entire White House staff? Interesting. And Conway suggested, and so did Spicer yesterday, Sean Spicer, the press secretary, that Nordstrom's decision was politically motivated uh, to drop her line, Ivanka Trump's uh, line. Was it? Well, Nordstrom says it was pure, a purely business decision that sales of the brand had been declining to the point where it made good business sense uh, to discontinue the line. Now, look, I spoke to people at Ivanka's company a couple of months ago, and they said the brand was targeting millennial women in urban areas. Well, guess who isn't a fan of Ivanka's uh, brand right now? Millennial women in urban areas. So it's not hard to see why Nordstrom and now other retailers are backing away from their previous relationship here, Jake. And we can expect to see this play out over the next weeks and months because that online petition to boycott Ivanka's brand that started with a millennial woman um, seems to be gaining some steam here. Interesting. Christina Leshy, thank you so much.